Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are all fine welcome to the practical course of biomedical instrumentation 2 here's your lab instructor Nashita Alwas sequence of our today's experiment is lab objective apparatus needed theoretical background lab performance part and conclusion the title of our today's experiment is the demonstration and troubleshooting of centrifuge apparatus needed for the experimentation is centrifuge machine firstly we have to look at the theoretical background of this experiment the theme of this experiment is the demonstration and the troubleshooting of the centrifuge so firstly we have to look at the demonstration of centrifuge a centrifuge is a device used to separate components of a mixture on the basis of their size density viscosity of the medium and the rotor speed normally centrifuge rotor is connected to the motor and motor have electrical supply when we will on the supply of the motor then motor move the rotor so that centrifuge will be moved centrifuge is commonly used in laboratories for the separation of biological molecules from a crude extract if we will talk about the centrifuge in our real life then daily life then uh, we have an example of washing machine and the example of butter making so in a centrifuge sample is kept in a rotor that is rotated about a fixed point resulting in a strong force perpendicular to the axis strong force will be applied on the will be applied on the test tube in the vertical direction parts of centrifuge centrifuge has lid and the rotor which is continuously in the moving stage and uh, then we have lcd display on which you can set the speed rpm means and uh, timing of the rotation of the rotor of the centrifuge and uh, on the lcd display we have rpm shift button we have programming button we have time adjustment button and uh, we have uh, the start stop button we have the lid open button and uh, also we have the speed adjustment button for the movement of rotor now if we have a solution in the test tube and uh, we will put the solution in the test tube holders in the centrifuge then uh, after centrifuge performer and performer is working we have a solution distribution in two parts a uh, liquid portion and the solid portion solid portion jo hai wo test tube ke andar niche baith jayega jisko hum sediment kahenge pellet sediment kahenge aur jo aapka light uh, portion hai liquid portion hai light portion hai wo floating start kar dega jisko hum uh, supernatant kahenge so basically after centrifuge performance we have uh, two distribution in the solution liquid portion and the solid portion there are different types of centrifuge used for the separation of different molecules uh, but they all have a uh, work on the principle of sedimentation centrifuge is the technique of separating components where the centrifugal force acceleration causes the denser molecules to move towards the periphery while the less dense particle uh, move Uh, towards the center of the rotor the process of centrifugation relies on the perpendicular force created when a sample is rotated about a fixed point and uh, the rate of centrifuge performance is dependent on the size and density of the particles present in the solution and uh, two another things are very important uh, means the time duration in which we are going to move the rotor of the centrifuge and the second uh, thing is the speed of the rotor according to the speed size density uh, time management we will uh, centrifuge our solutions into the denser uh, particles and the less denser particles 
नेक्स्ट थिंग वी हैव इज द बैलेंसिंग लोड बैलेंसिंग लोड मीन्स द बैलेंसिंग ऑफ सॉल्यूशन इन द टेस्ट ट्यूब योर सेंट्रीफ्यूज मस्ट कंटेन अ बैलेंस्ड लोड टू वर्क प्रॉपरली स्पिनिंग बैलेंस्ड लोड विल एक्सटेंड द लाइफ ऑफ अ सेंट्रीफ्यूज एंड प्रोड्यूस बेटर रिजल्ट so uh, we have to follow some rules when uh, we are talking about the loading of the rotor if we have the odd number of samples in the uh, centrifuge means hamare paas jo hai kam quantity mein solution available hai to humne us situation ke andar centrifuge ke rotor par jo aapke paas test tube holders hote hain usko kis tarah se balance karna hai theek hai to aap aise karenge ki ek to test tube जो आप प्लेस करेंगे टेस्ट ट्यूब होल्डर्स के अंदर उसके अंदर सॉल्यूशन होगा जिसकी आपने सेंट्रीफ्यूज जिसको आपने करना है और उसके अल्टरनेटिव प्लेस पे आप टेस्ट ट्यूब के अंदर वाटर डाल के रख देंगे होगा कुछ भी नहीं सॉल्यूशन के अंदर मीन्स वाटर से कुछ भी नहीं होगा सिर्फ इतना होगा कि आपका रोटर जो है वो बैलेंस स्टेज पे आ जाएगा समटाइम्स ऐसा होता है कि अगर हम एक टेस्ट ट्यूब एक साइड पर सिर्फ रोटर के रख देते हैं और ऑल्टरनेटिव प्लेसेस पे आपके पास कोई टेस्ट ट्यूब नहीं होती तो जो आपका लाइटर पार्ट होता है सेंट्रीफ्यूज का वो ऊपर को उठ जाता है जबकि जो हैवियर पार्ट होता है वो नीचे हो जाता है जिसकी वजह से वाइब्रेशन जो है वो क्रिएट होती हैं और डिस्टरबेंस आती है सो अपोजिंग टेस्ट ट्यूब होल्डर्स मस्ट बी इक्वली लोडेड और एम्पेटी और लोडेड विथ इक्वली वेटेड सैंपल्स मीन्स अगर हमारे पास जिस सैंपल को हमने सेंट्रीफ्यूज करना है वो नहीं भी अवेलेबल तो उसी वेट का कोई और सैंपल जो है आप डाल सकते हैं सिर्फ डिफरेंस ये है कि जितना सैंपल आपके पास अवेलेबल है वो सेंट्रीफ्यूज होगा दूसरा सेंट्रीफ्यूज नहीं होगा अगर आप लोग नॉर्मली आप लोग इवन नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट ट्यूब रखते हैं ऑल्टरनेटिव प्लेसेस पे अगर आपके पास ऑड नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट ट्यूब है लाइक थ्री देन दे मस्ट बी ऑफ इक्वल वेट हेयर वी हैव सम एग्जाम्पल्स रिगार्डिंग दी a test tube placement in the test tube holders of the centrifuge rotor first picture jo hai left hand side se uske andar jo hai aapke paas ek test tube hai humne abhi discuss kiya hai ki hum log balanced state pe chalte hain ek test tube kabhi bhi hum apne centrifuge ke rotor ke andar put nahi karenge kyunki isse aapka centrifuge ka rotor ki ka ek part jo hai wo downward shift ho jayega aur ek part jo hai wo upward chala jayega second picture ke andar jo hai alternative places ke andar humne टेस्ट ट्यूब पुट की हुई है ये सेप्टेबल वे है थर्ड पिक्चर के अंदर आपने तीन टेस्ट ट्यूब्स ली हुई हैं और उनको अल्टरनेटिव प्लेसेस पे इस तरह से प्लेस किया हुआ है कि तीनों का वेट सेम है अगर तो तीनों का वेट सेम ना होता तो आपके लिए ये प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होती ठीक है क्योंकि तीन है और नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट ट्यूब्स है लेकिन जब भी ऐसा फिनोमिना होगा कि तीन आपके पास टेस्ट ट्यूब होंगी तो आप तीनों का वेट जो है वो इक्वल होना चाहिए बैलेंस्ड होना चाहिए उसके बाद फोर्थ नंबर ऑफ पिक्चर के अंदर आपके पास फोर टेस्ट ट्यूब्स हैं अल्टरनेटिव प्लेसेस पे तो ये सेप्टेबल वे है कि आपने अल्टरनेटिव प्लेसेस पे हमेशा सॉल्यूशन को पुट करना है देन आपके पास जो है फिफ्थ नंबर ऑफ पिक्चर के अंदर भी सिक्स टेस्ट ट्यूब्स हैं जो कि अल्टरनेटिव प्लेसेस पर आपके टेस्ट ट्यूब होल्डर्स के अंदर माउंट हुई नहीं है तो ये भी एसेप्टेबल वे है लास्ट पिक्चर में इवन नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट ट्यूब्स हैं लेकिन वो अल्टरनेटिव प्लेस पर नहीं है ठीक है तो आपका जो सेंट्रीफ्यूज है उसका जो रोटर है वो बैलेंस नहीं रहेगा क्योंकि एक साइड पे उसका लोड ज्यादा हो गया और दूसरी साइड पे टेस्ट ट्यूब नहीं है तो कोई लोड ही नहीं है तो ये जो है अनएसेप्टेबल वे है टेस्ट ट्यूब को प्लेस करने का आपके सेंट्रीफ्यूज के रोटर के अंदर वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द सेंट्रीफ्यूज इन अ सोल्यूशन पार्टिकल्स हुई हायर देन दैट ऑफ द सोलवेंट सिंग एंड पार्टिकल्स दैट आर लाइटर देन इट फ्लोट टू द टॉप greater the difference in the density the faster the rotor will move and the solution will also move if there is no difference in the density means there is no uh, particle in the solution whose density is higher than than another one so the particle stays steady state to take advantage of even tiny differences in density to separate various particles in a solution gravity can be replaced with a much more powerful centrifugal force provided by a centrifuge in the vertical axis of the test tubes troubleshooting of the centrifuge first problem is the lid does not open 
so the possible causes uh, we have no power the knob is not completely closed lid lock is active the tray is unplugged from the control board or de uh, defected control board is damaged so uh, if we have no power then uh, we have to check the line cord we have to check the circuit breaker on the underside of the centrifuge we have to check the uh, wall outlet and uh, if the lid knob is not completely closed uh, rotate the lid knob fully clockwise before pressing the open button if the lid lock is active press the unlock timeout press the open button to deactivate the lid lock uh, if the lid tray is unplugged from the control board or defective check wiring of the uh, centrifuge motor control board is damaged replace the control board second problem we have faced uh, in the centrifuge is the excessive vibration so excessive vibration can be occur due to the rotor improper loaded loading load equally filled tube symmetrically in the rotor all carries or the tube holders must be present in the rotor and uh, centrifuge housing is loose tighten or replace the screws uh, missing damaged feet replace the feet of the centrifuge motor failure replace the motor if the rotor damage then uh, replace the rotor third problem that can be occur in the centrifuge is the rotor does not spin uh, so maybe uh, there is no power so we have to check the line cord we have to check the circuit breakers and the wall outlet and uh, maybe rotor does not spin because lid of the centrifuge not properly latched so press down firmly on lid and rotate lid knob clockwise until the latched light eliminates third problem is the internal connection failure so we have to check the wiring and uh, rotor does not spin maybe the control board failure so we have to replace the control board rotor does not spin then uh, it can be possible that the uh, motor is fail uh, is fail or there is damage in the motor so we have to replace the motor fourth problem is shutting down or beeping at the beginning of the cycle uh, so the possible cause is the centrifuge is not properly balanced review balancing loads uh, shutting down or beeping at the beginning of the cycle can be occur uh, when all tube holders are not present on the rotor of the centrifuge so insert all tube holders into centrifuge before operation and uh, fifth problem we have uh, we will be faced in the centrifuge is clicking noise during breaking so it can be occur due to the rotor is loose so we have to tighten the rotor nuts last problem that can be occurred in the centrifuge is the whistling noise while running it can be the uh, air intake and exhaust ports so we have to remove power before clearing debris and uh, damage can be occur so we have to require uh, requires the uh, services for the uh, movement or for the uh, correction of the uh, gas tank
from this experiment we have learned that the major concept of the centrifuge what is the centrifuge machine and uh, uh, what is the working principle of the centrifuge machine uh, what uh, kind of problems are there when we are dealing with the separation of the solution by using the centrifuge phenomenon this is all from my side you are welcome to ask any question related to this topic thank you very much for listening to me good luck allah hafiz